This is a story of a man, a story of a man's work, a skilled craftsman with his hands. With a semi-centennial of dedication, knowledge, and experience, the best of the best, an unsung hero of the food industry, this is the story of my father, Butcher, a life behind the knife. Welcome, Welcome to the Glean Meat Market. Market. I've been here all together 25 years. I'd say this customer come here for over 40 years. We do a lot of special orders. We, we've been serving those customers for a long time. So sometimes they come in, we, we even know what they want before they start. He's the best there is. I wouldn't think of going anyplace else. But where else can you get a veal French chop looking like this? So I'm doing a bit of beef stew for, for an order that we do every week for a restaurant. It's called Connor's Restaurant. And um, they, they buy a lot of stuff from us. And so, well, I started cutting meat when I was 15, 16 years old. It was my dad. I, I started at his, at his store. We had a store in the hall. Me and my brother, we worked for them for about maybe, I'd say four or five years together, but then I had to go after. <laughs> okay. So you gotta be at the end and each side like that. But you gotta make sure you don't go there because you'll cut your hand. Yeah. Each side, slow. No, on the same side like that. And do it over and over again like that? That's straight. Alright. Okay, that's good. So we just wanted to go over the brief history of our family in the meat industry. It started back with uh, your father. My father, uh, my so grandfather. My grandfather, Raymond. His father, my dad here, Danny, and my uncle, Michelle, all butchers. Canada Packers. Yeah. So explain this picture, Dad. Okay. Th that, that picture is uh, when they were killing the pigs. They were killing about, let's say, 800 to 1,000 pigs a day. And they used to come up the line, and they kill the pigs. And then we break it down to do ham, sausages, bologna, hot dogs, whatever. So, so that's where you see the line. It comes in at the end where it's all get killed and cut. And then they start cutting there. All the legs, the shoulder. And there's my grandfather, my grandfather, my dad. He was 17 years old there. My grandfather. And my uncle. There's um, a carcass of lamb, it's Canadian lamb. And we go through a lot of those, especially Easter coming. Um, I do different cuts, very fancy cut with it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna break one lamb, and I'm gonna break it down and show you what I do with it. All right, so here we go. So this is the, the lamb cut up. So I want to show you the way we do it here. First, you see this shoulder? So I'm going to be doing what we call a knock duck. It's a, we do like a, a duck with a shoulder. So the way we do that, this is the mount, as you see. And then we debone the whole thing and we roll it all boneless after it's all done. And it comes out like this. After it's all done, it's like that. The other part of the shoulder, that we do chops or roast with the bone in. So we can do some chops, shoulder chops. I show you a couple of chops here. So those are shoulder chops that we sell over here. We take the loins and we trim it off. So, and then we do the chops, like this. We slice it on, with the knife, and then we slice it on the saw. Makes a nice chop like that. So last year, loin lamb chops, it's standard cut. That's what we do with that. We do the leg, which is called a leg of lamb. We could do it boneless, and we could do it bone in. So just to show you, after it's done, that's what it is. This is a leg of lamb. 
And that's the way we sell it at the store. People who want it boneless, we could debone it and do a roast. Butterfly leg of hand if you want. So there you go. That, and the chop that I did is to show you after it's all trim is like that. So we'll do a rack of lamb. So you have to trim it off a wee bit. So what we do, we have to trim between the bones. That's a eight bone rack of lamb. There you go. Right. And also, what we can do sometime, especially in the Christmas time and uh, like Easter coming right now, we could do a, a crown lamb, which we tied it together like this, and we make a nice crown. See? We could stuff it with some mince and ground lamb, and then you cut it between the bones. This is the story of my father, Butcher a life behind the knife.